The Atlanta Braves started season right-footed, at least on the scoreboard, with a 7-2 win over Washington Nationals in D.C. on Thursday afternoon. Of course, a dark cloud hung over rest of game after ace Max Fried left game in middle of fourth inning due to a hamstring injury. After the game, Braves manager Brian Snicker told reporters that Fried would miss at least one start and would likely end up on the injured list. This would put a damper on an otherwise festive situation for the defending NL East champions. Fried allowed a run in four strokes with two strokes at 313 strokes. He was working on a nice outing, even if it wasn't a raid. Winning rules stipulate that a starting player must take at least five hits, so he's left without a decision, possibly as he heads the injured roster. This will really test the Braves' return depth as well. Kyle Wright, who led lead with 21 wins last season, started the season on injured list, and while we love Charlie Morton in these episodes, he is entering his 39-year-old season. Along with Morton, other healthy members of the Braves' rotation will be Spencer Strider and Jared Schuster and Dylan Dodd, two rookies who haven't made their MLB debut yet. It's not all doom and gloom here. We could paint an optimistic picture if we wanted to. Watch Morton still has the ability to have a good season at this age. Strider looked like a frontline player last season. Fried may not miss much time. Wright could return before the end of April. Schuster and Dodd have huge advantages and the Braves should be trusted with their improvements. Still, it's far from ideal if Fried and Wright are injured to start the season. Fried, 29, was runner-up for Cy Young last season with a 2.48 ERA in 185 13 innings, a 1.01 whip and 170 hits 14-7.